So I'm about to do this Parfums Vintage video and I feel like I should just check with the Fragrance Apprentice first before I shoot this video. So let's give him a ring. He has no idea. Hello, George. Yes. Yes. So I'm just stood here in front of the camera and I just needed to just check you're okay with something I'm about to do. Oh God. Um, I'm, I'm about to film a video on um, three summer fragrances from Parfums Vintage. Right. Are you okay with that? I'll live. Are you sure? I'll, 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 you know, I'm seeing my therapist, uh, what am I seeing him? I'm seeing him in about three days, so I'll have to talk about it. But yeah, okay, I can, yeah, go for it. And I can still be your friend? Um, yeah. Great. Um, listen, do you want to just do me a quick stay tuned to, to FM to take us into the intro? Um, uh, well... I mean, a bit pr pressurising, but uh, okay, fine. Uh, well, stay tuned to FM, everybody, and God have mercy on this man's soul. Thanks, George. Are you, are you going for a bath now? Oh, uh, uh, a mud bath to just absolutely get rid of it all. <laughs> <laughs> and several bottles of whiskey. First of all, thank you for Parfums Vintage for very kindly sending me these fragrances. Just to let you know, this video is not sponsored by Parfums Vintage. All they've done is send me the bottles and you know what? They never ask for me to make a video. Not once have they ever asked for me to, to do a video. And I don't always make videos about everything they send me, but if I feel there's something that I've enjoyed and something that I want to recommend to you guys, then here we are. I'll, I will make a video for you. Parfums Vintage are a house that do it all. They're they clone fragrances, they resurrect discontinued fragrances, they take fragrance DNAs and add their own unique twist on them, and they also add intensity to fragrances that may, well, lack intensity. That might mean that certain notes are amplified in order to give the scent profile a bit more of an intense character, or perhaps it's a stronger concentration which makes the fragrance more potent and gives it better performance. I'm going to talk to you about three summer offerings from Parfums Vintage that have all had the intensity treatment. So, let me take you through these fragrances and share my honest opinions. So the first one is Emperor Cologne Intense. Now Emperor is the line of fragrances from Parfums Vintage that they claim are the closest to actual Aventus. This one is based on Aventus Cologne and apparently it's a more intense version. So let's see if it is. Let's just start by showing you the bottle and the notes. So as with Aventus Cologne, there's mandarin, pink pepper, ginger, sandalwood, patchouli, vetiver, tonka bean, birch, styrax and musk. Aventus Cologne is a fresher take on Aventus and Emperor Cologne Intense is definitely a very refreshing fragrance. Now, I did have a little bit of a performance issue with Aventus Cologne. I really enjoyed the scent. The opening was absolutely beautiful, but it just faded quite fast on me. I think other people had better luck with it, but personally for me, it didn't last very long. So when Parfums Vintage sent me this one, a more intense version, I thought, could this be what I need? Was it? Let's find out. In that beautiful opening, the mandarin mingles with pink pepper and ginger, which has a real zing. It really jumps off the skin. A great opening, just like Aventus Cologne. And as that dries down, it becomes more subtle and closer to the skin. So in the dry down, it becomes a more rounded, woodier type of scent. It's not projecting much at this stage though. You're gonna get okay projection for the first hour, maybe two if you're lucky with your body chemistry but then after that it's just gonna be a light skin scent for maybe five six hours i found the intense label a little bit confusing on this because it didn't seem more intense to me than aventus cologne it's very nice but just not more intense than aventus cologne so i actually find aventus cologne 
a bit more intense in terms of the smell because I get more of the birch in the opening. So it just has more depth and it has a little bit more punch to it. It has a little bit more intensity to it. I've tested these several times now side by side with Aventus Cologne. And personally, I find Aventus Cologne just has a bit more intensity to it. So that was funny. And also I thought, well, maybe it's stronger. Maybe it lasts longer. Maybe I can get better performance out of this one. And again, I found that this wasn't stronger than Aventus Cologne. It wasn't worse though. So it had a performance that was kind of on par with Aventus Cologne. So not shocking, but average. So forgetting for a moment that this is based on Aventus Cologne, it's a really nice summer scent that I've really enjoyed wearing. If you're looking for a bang on clone of Aventus Cologne, then I don't think this will really scratch that itch for you because I'd say it's about 60 to 70% in terms of how close it is to the original Aventus Cologne. If you're looking for something similar, that is a little bit cheaper, then this might very well work for you. As I say, it's a very enjoyable scent. It's just not a bang on clone of Aventus Cologne. In terms of the prices, this is cheaper. So 100 mil of Aventus Cologne Intense is gonna cost you $159, which converts to 126 pounds. Whereas to buy Aventus Cologne at full retail anyway, it's gonna set you back about 215 pounds. And I think that's probably more expensive in the US. I think the US pay a little bit more for their creeds than we do here in the UK. Okay, look, bottom line is I've really enjoyed wearing this fragrance. I can recommend it to you. At the end of the day, it's a nicely made fragrance that works really well in the summer. So if you're looking for a nicely made fragrance that works really well in the summer, Emperor Cologne Intense might be for you. So the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is Maverick Intense, the official fragrance of the new Top Gun Maverick film. That's not true. It is an interpretation of YSL's M7 Fresh. Let's look at the bottle and the notes. We've got mandarin orange, grapefruit, bergamot, ginger, agarwood or oud, bitter orange, vetiver, musk and a slightly wonky label. But I think it looks pretty cool and quirky. This has a really nice citrus pop in the opening. Sweet, juicy citrus with added zing from the spicy ginger. Zing, by the way, is the word that is sponsoring the fragrance video today. So I will probably use that word a few more times. Zing. Now, if you're looking for a direct comparison between this and the discontinued M7 Fresh, well, thankfully, you've come to the wrong place because I've never smelt the original M7 Fresh. I've not even smelt the original M7. So I can't make a comparison. What I can do is tell you whether I like this fragrance or not. Yes, I do like this fragrance. It zings beautifully. Now, I expected this to be a little different to how it is. I heard M7 is quite a beast fragrance. So I expected this to be a bit of a summer beast, but it's not, it's more subtle, it's understated. And it reminds me of a recent conversation that I had with my dad in a video where we were talking about gentlemen's colognes. I will have that linked at the end screen of this video. If you've not watched that one, do check it out. Um, so he was saying that his preference for fragrances was more subtle and understated. So I think he like this fragrance. It's got a lovely, clean, refreshing, juicy citrus opening, and then it just fades a little bit and becomes this nice, understated, gentlemanly scent. I don't get much oud from this. I'm not saying there isn't any in here. It's just not very prominent. It's mainly about the zingy citruses and the zingy ginger. Together, they just zing beautifully. Performance is pretty good, actually. I get around two hours projection, and then it's gonna be a skin scent for around six to seven hours and you're gonna get minimal projection during that kind of dry down skin scent period. The cost of this is gonna set you back $139 US or 110 Great British pounds, the best currency, and that will be for 100 mil. It's a good quality fragrance. It's a very refreshing, invigorating, sophisticated, gentlemanly type fragrance that has a nice bit of nuance and has an understated manner about it. So I think if you're interested in fragrances like that, then I think you'll really appreciate this. If you've previously owned M7 Fresh and you've run out and you can't find it anywhere or you don't wanna pay prices that discontinued fragrances sell for, and you want something that gives you the feels of that original M7 Fresh, then you might wanna look at this. Also, if you need more zingy fragrances in your collection, 
The next one is Euphony Intense, although it might be Euphony, I'm not sure which one it is. This is based on Creed's Arolfa. The notes blended into this fragrance are bergamot, lemon, orange, violet, cumin, basil, rosemary, jasmine, cyclamen, ginger, coriander, pepper, sandalwood, cedar, moss, amber, musk, and zing. It's got a really lovely zingy, bright, citrus zingy opening that mingles with some herbal accords, although these herbal accords are quite subtle. I think the citruses are more prominent. What I really love about this one, this is my favorite thing about this fragrance, and by the way, this is my favorite of the three fragrances that I've talked about today, and it has this woody, musky quality that comes off as a little creamy, and I don't know if that's what is meant by the intense version of this fragrance, because I don't really remember the original Arolfa that I used to have a little sample of that I've used up, but I don't remember that having this creaminess, but I like it, and I think I do prefer the profile of this one to the original Arolfa. It's somehow aquatic without being salty, and it's got this lovely ozonic quality about it. So under those zingy citruses and the woody muskiness, there's almost this layer of fresh air, which I find very refreshing. So I love the, the brightness of this fragrance. I love the refreshing quality that it has, and I really love this creamy muskiness. And to me, it reminds me a little bit of Rush of Unicorns, so therefore it comes off as sort of a hybrid between Creed's Arolfa and Millicent Imperial, and it works. I really enjoy it. Performance is good on this one, the best of the three, so I get two to three hours of projection, and then it'll be uh, a skin scent for around eight hours. The price of this is the same as the last one, so 139 US, 110 British pounds. If you like Arolfa, but you're interested in a slightly different take on that DNA, and in my opinion, it adds a little bit of extra dimension to the Arolfa DNA, which, as I've said, I really like. If you think you like the sound of that, maybe give this one a try. So there we are, three great summer options from Parfums Vintage. Let me know if you've tried any of them. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next video. Zing, 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 zing. Um, zing. As with Aventus Cologne, the opening of this is beautiful. Mandarin mangles with mango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Mrs. Mangle, remember her from Neighbours. In the opening, man, in the opening, Mandarin mangles with. <laughs> Got Mrs. Mangle on the brain now. What's going on? As it starts to dry down, then I've forgotten.